what if I record as soon as I wake up? What if I just let you know it's 1024? I open my eyes at 951. Sorry, 959. What if I let you know when I got home this morning, it was around 659. When I finally got out of bed, it was almost 729. Get those numbers, roll around in your brain for a bit. And then as my day progresses, just look at the reality of the situation. So if I decide to tell you about me, another reason why my fitness video is coming out soon, I don't feel like doing it today, is because I got the way that I am at home. It was COVID last year, still now. I lost 30 pounds at home. I'm almost competition ready at home. I'm older than when I started. This will all reference into the video itself. I'm sleeping, let's just use an average, on average three to five hours a day. It's crazy, especially when you look at those types of things. I'm the type of person, you hear, well, you know what they say. <laughs> you know what they say. Or they say this, they say that. And not to say the word day is vague. The same way if I'm talking about a specific subject, when I say us, or you know how we feel. Who's us? What do you mean we? Eventually, I might not even answer those questions if I get them in the future. But technically, you should know. And that's why we could just talk like that. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's why I could just talk like that. Because, and like I told you, everything is going to be in my opinion. And everything I do is straight me. So when they say, and these are, these are like simple, common, eh. They say don't go swimming 30 minutes after eating. Mm. They say don't mix fat burners with alcohol. Just be a poster boy for that. <laughs> uh, they say don't mix uh, medicine with alcohol. Poster boy for that. Um, don't put rubbing alcohol on your face. It'll dry out your pores. Dude, after I shave, I put the bottle straight on my head. And I think I did this before. I talked about this. Here's Maurice. What up, baby? How you living? All right. Everything good? Okay, okay. Oh yeah. That's the homie I told you about before. I don't know if I told the whole story, but I'm pretty sure I did. The homeless dude, he was at the church. The police department posted a story. He was gone. I saw him again. Talked to him again. He's actually being pushed right now by somebody. He's probably, because I told you he's in a wheelchair, probably getting pushed back to, um, the hotel if anything i'm just assuming but anyways uh I, so i think i did that video before because I, I talked about i put the alcohol on my face um dude i and my mom would always like freak out and, and these things these are things to me that are extremely simple if i'm driving but my car door is still open and my leg is hanging out the car because I'm just gonna park my, I'm just gonna park my car across the street. I'm just gonna drive my car down in the garage, or whatever it is I'm doing. You could drive with the door open. You're not gonna fall out. And I, I did fly out of a car, ladies and gentlemen. Don't know if I recorded that one. I probably will. I flew out of a car. We lived in Azusa, and the only thing I met my brain, the only thing that is stored in my memory banks is I'm in the front passenger seat. At some point, my door flies open. And I, and from what I remember, fly out. I could have rolled out. Regardless, I fell out the car in the middle of traffic. It's not like in the middle of the 101 freeway, but it's like if you're on Main Street. So it's like actual main road. 
I flew out and all I remember was running to the sidewalk and pretty much like terrified, I curled up into a ball against like the wall. The next memory I have is probably when I'm at home in the bathtub. That's all I remember from that. Just a side note, thought I'd share that story. So I'm gonna put up other texts and things that I do and just explains why I feel like I'm, I know I'm different. I've been working graveyard. Cause that's another thing I do right now is graveyard. Some people, if they try to stay up all night long, it's not for everybody off top. I've been working graveyard, my current position, for at least the past six years. No, it, no I'm so sorry. Um, November will be six years. I've been graveyard on and off since 2003. Since we're talking about me, let's give another backstory. I started my first graveyard job in 2003. Sam's Club, Cat City, right there off of Date Palm. Is it called Date Palm? I think it is. It's been a long time. Sorry, guys. Uh, I was at Sam's Club doing graveyard. I quit right before my 21st birthday. Just because I want to throw a party. And I did. You know, if you live in the desert, and I know I still got desert folks out there, moms. Hopefully you're watching all these. Um, it is so hot during the day. Unbearably hot at times. It got to the point when every summer I would find a graveyard job on purpose. And then when summer was over, I would quit. Welcome to being young, folks. Immature, whatever, I'm not responsible. Welcome to my life. So I found a job that was so chill. I think this was 2005 uh, summer. So chill. I would be stupid to quit. Stupid, right? So I kept that job for a few years until I got let go. But nonetheless, what's up, baby? But nonetheless, I worked there as long as I could and then I was done. But as soon as I got another chance for a graveyard, I was back and I've been back. So as everyone is driving to school in the morning, especially back when I was in the desert, I used to see, I think, Arnufo, Arnufo. I used to be driving home and you see him coming to work and specific people, you know, going to school and I'm, I'm going home, you know what I mean? So as they're starting their day, everyone is getting their day started. I'm on the way to the crib, straight up, I'm sleeping. When that sun is out burning you, like I, I started early today, so I'm getting toasted right now, but it's fine. When that sun is out burning, burning the valley, just burning everything it sees, I'm at home peacefully in bed, nice and cool. When the sun is starting to set, that's when I come out. That's when I go to the gym. That's when I get my food. Then I go to work. Then I work all night long. So instead of, that, the way I used to put it with my metaphors, instead of working nine to five, I'd rather sleep nine to five. And I love that analogy. And that why I slept eight to four. Like clockwork. The way, ask my wife, the way I sleep from 7 a.m. until 10 a.m. now is how I slept 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. back then. And ask a couple of my coworkers, because I've told them, I wake up at the same times, which is random, because it's only three hours. <laughs> so if I'm asleep by seven, right, at one point around 8.30, I'm gonna open my eyes, I'm gonna turn around and look at the clock. 8.30, cool. I'm gonna close my eyes, go back to sleep. I usually open my eyes again at some for some reason, around the nine o'clock hour, they'll pop open. Closer to 10, they'll pop open, I look at the clock, and I go back to sleep. I guess mentally, I look at the clock, but okay, I still got 20 minutes. Maybe, maybe it's my own internal snooze that I didn't even know about. I just realized this right now. If I open my eyes and it's not 10 o'clock, I close my eyes and go back to sleep. If I open my eyes and it's 10.01, my body is awake and I'm ready to go for the day. There's random days I open my eyes and it's 1045. And I'm like, oh, I slept in. My body's like, Negro, you better sleep. Give me 45 extra minutes. I need it, dude. You know what you put me through? Because as soon as I wake up, I'm downstairs in the garage. Like I told you, it was, I think, 1021 when I started, 1020 something when I started. If I woke up at 958, that 1020 something, I would have been doing my first set already. 
So <laughs> my body's like, hey, you know what she put me through, dude? And after I do my full workout, I'm gonna do a whole hour of cardio. And then after the hour of cardio, then I go shower. Then I get everything ready, whether I'm cooking food, prepping food, or doing something at the house, like cleaning, whatever, whatever. And so it's time to go get the kids. When you get the kids, you know it's nonstop. You know what I mean? It's like, the only time I have to relax is when my wife gives them a bath, because they take baths separately. So at six o'clock, Keanu goes upstairs, and then I'm just with Marv. And when you have one of them, they are like a piece of cake. These children, and, and I mean, they're still three and five, but when you have just one, whew, you guys are chilling. You can even just uh, converse amongst each other and, and enjoy. Uh, so then Keanu goes up first, and when Keanu's done, he goes down, Marv goes up after. So that's my only time to kind of like chill. And then, you know, where it's just obviously family time all the way up until eight, then we're getting ready for bed. So we get ready for bed, and then I leave for work, and then I'm at work the whole night. So, yeah. That's my day, in case you're curious. That's an average day in my life. And this might actually help you, first of all, learn a little bit about me. Now that you know about my day, when my fitness video comes out next, now you can be like, wow, wow. So, dots and connecting dots, eventually, depending on how much you care about learning about me, and just learning about me is gonna help you learn about my mindset, it's gonna help you learn about my my outlook and just to have a thorough understanding because I told you before, I like to thoroughly explain things. So that's what this is gonna do. It's gonna help reflect those. It's gonna help shed light, that's a better word. It's gonna help shed light on these things and it's gonna help, it's just gonna help things make more sense. If, if you like what I'm doing and you appreciate what I'm doing, then you'd be like, oh, so that's why. Kind of like at work, when you're doing the same thing, it's on your checklist, and you do it over and over every single day, but you have no idea why. Then you finally talk to someone in the department that's responsible for what it is that you're doing, and they explain it to you and why it's done, and then you're like, oh, geez, thank you. And then maybe you can even think about an easier way to do the job next time, because you're like, oh, I didn't know that, because I've been doing it like this the whole entire time. I didn't realize it was for that. And then once you're back, well, hey, so what if I do this, 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 and this instead, would it help you guys? And then you can bounce ideas off of each other and you can find out how to make things better, how to make it more efficient, and it can be more beautiful thing if you look at it from that aspect. So I really believe me shedding light on all these nonsense situations are gonna help make things a lot more beautiful in the future and you never know where it could take us. And like I told you, if I get one view per video, it won't matter to me. Cause I'm still figuring myself out as I'm out here and I love it. As long as I know me, I could be the best version of myself. Boom. And my wife and kids could be happy with their father because their father won't live a depressed or sad life. I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow. Peace.